something Adam and I like doing is we like to drive around the country just outside of the city and just look for mushrooms. And Adam got a hold of me and said he found a bunch of pheasant back mushrooms. Folks, this is what the No Idea guys do for fun. <laughs> yeah, we're just literally on the side of the road. And here's my brother. Here are your pheasant back mushrooms. Um, identifying them by looking, it looks just like a pheasant back. The feathers on the back of a pheasant or other wild bird. You can see, got Whoa. some huge ones. These things are enormous. I mean, you can see my hand. Now, one thing with these, they grow on hardwoods, primarily elm. A lot of people, a lot of the um, mushroom hunting snobs that are looking for morels will step over these because they think they're inedible. Um, I completely disagree. We recently found uh, a recipe for pickled pickled pheasant backs because if you smell them, Aaron, what do they what do they smell like? Ah, smell like cucumbers. Smell like cucumbers. And what do we do with cucumbers? We, we pickle, pickle them. them. So found an awesome recipe. So if you're somebody that thinks these are inedible, give this a try. Um, this this might change your opinion on pheasant backs. So biggest thing is you want to get them earlier. The later, the tougher they get. The later they are in their life, they get super hard and woody. You want something like this. Now, you see I've got two pieces here. You see the difference in the spores. One's really wide open and deep spores. You can also look at it this way. Look at how deep the spores are. Um, this one's old and it's tough, okay? Mm. This one is really young and you can do a test. You either do it with your fingernail or the blade of a knife and just scrape it. It should scrape off super easy. You feel it, it's nice and spongy and soft and light. This is a young one. This is what we're looking for, the young ones like this. Pheasant backs grow on the wood itself, whereas stuff like morels, they will come from the soil. So we're back home, uh, we got our harvest here. We're going to do two different uh, pickling recipes. The recipe isn't uh, as big of a deal as more the process. I want to talk you through the process. Uh, our next step in the process is going to take these, be to take these, um, take all the spores off the back, which we'll have to do those with maybe a knife or a spoon or your fingernail, uh, remove all the spores, uh, wash them up good, and then take them to a, I'm gonna use a meat slicer, you can also use a mandolin slicer, slice them paper thin, as thin as you can get them, super thin, uh, the thinner the better. Uh, so that's the next step in the process, and we'll get after it. We just got done thinly slicing the pheasant back. Almost looks like turkey. Oh like yeah, it. like turkey like sandwich meat. Turkey sandwich meat. Right it there. is awesome. And so now what we're gonna do is we're putting together the recipes, and then we're gonna go ahead and can them. So we're really excited. So Adam, what do we got going on? So we're gonna do two recipes. One is just a very basic dill pickle recipe. The other one is from Al Alan from Forge Forager Chef. Uh, we'll link him down below. Uh, check it out. He's got some amazing stuff, not just for this, uh, but for a lot of uh, wild foraging. So you can use your whatever dill pickle recipe you want for this. Um, I've gathered. So yeah. one's super basic, just some dill, some garlic, some canning salt and vinegar. That's one of our recipes. So. Yep. Yeah. And then we put them in pint, little pint jars, just like this. Yep. Yeah. And then. After we pack them in here, we'll put them in a hot bath, hot water bath, and then they'll basically be done.
out of the heat with the jalapeno. That'll pop. Oh, that's good, yeah. how many uh how many pheasant back mushrooms we harvested today and it cooked down to just three three jars that's a lot that's a lot of work yeah not no nah, not really i mean people that do mushrooms know the work that goes into it that was as prevalent as pheasant backs are if you really think about it the amount of time um it's not that bad especially for something that one jar is going to go a long ways. Mm -hmm. So if you like pickles, that's that's the biggest thing. If your palate likes pickles, um, this is going to be a great alternative to pizzas, uh, burger Burgers. toppers, charcuterie boards, all that kind of stuff. This is <laughs> this is kind of a, a nice little secret. So I would think wow people with. Well, there you go. Pheasant backs, a mushroom that oftentimes is overlooked, but yeah. is uh, an awesome and safe mushroom to eat. So... There you go. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, man, we'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and uh, become one of our followers. So, all right, okay. Good talk. See you out there.